It has a troubled history, but Willacy County's newly reopened detention center is now under new ownership. And tonight we are learning more about the operations plan at the El Valle Detention Center. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez obtained a copy of the facility's new contract. Valerie, what does it show? Medical services, employee standards, and the safety in the workplace are all addressed in this agreement signed June 25th by the Willacy County Local Government Corporation. On July 18th, a three-phase plan started. It's moving detainees in large quantities. By October 1st, all 1,000 beds could be full. The bed day rates start at about $160 and end at $107 by the beginning of October. Those who are brought here are adult ICE administrative detainees. They're not charged with crimes. They're held to ensure they make their immigration hearings and for possible deportation. They receive a medical screening and a TB screening within the first 12 hours of their arrival. By the first two weeks, a full health assessment and physical examination is required. The papers state disabled detainees should be kept in the least restrictive environments and accommodations must be made to secure equal access to services and programs. When they get sick, they must be taken to the hospital. They must be guarded for 24 hours a day by an officer of the same gender until they're discharged. The agreement also provides the facility have translators or bilingual personnel to communicate with detainees with limited to no English comprehension. Personnel will be subject to a lengthy investigation, including criminal background checks prior to employment. It's also recommended they have vaccinations against hepatitis B, measles, mumps, rubella, varicella, and seasonal influenza. The facility itself will be subject to unannounced inspections by ICE. If the detention center gets two consecutive overall ratings of less than acceptable, ICE will remove all the detainees. At last check, MTC is expected to hire 245 people by the end of the year. This agreement also stipulates they must keep staffing levels at 95% of the approved level. Otherwise, they face financial repercussions. To take your own look at the contract we received, you can head over to our website, krgv.com. It's already there. In the studio, Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 10.